All right, Floyd Mayweather's 16-year-old uh, daughter, Jaira, hopefully I'm saying her name right, basically blasted him for being a selfish and a bad parent on Twitter. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell like, icon button, share the video, and I'll put it on the screen. Hopefully I remember. But Jaira says that going from a parent that put their happiness uh, on the back burner for our happiness and then going to a parent that put his happiness before our happiness is basically, you know, not what she signed up for. Basically, she missed her mother, and obviously... She's still in the morning sta sta uh, stages of that. And Floyd did respond. And, you know, he basically said, you know, I love her unconditionally. If she put God first, everything will be all right. Blah, say, blah. And then the other daughter, Ayana, uh, chimed in. Chimed in. And, I put, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, it's hard, man. It's hard to it's hard to be in any type of relationship today's day and age, right? Uh, it's hard to have a mother-son, a father-daughter, a mother-daughter, Father, daughter, son relationship, you know, auntie, uncle relationship, you know, fiance relationship, girlfriend relationship, you know, best friend relationship. Because every time some shit hit the fan, everybody want to run to social media and put their business in the street. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, open and invite everybody into that relationship. And once you invite people in your relationship, your relationship is probably going to deteriorate quicker than quick. Especially when you involve the public in there. And everybody got an opinion. You, she vulnerable. Her mom just died. She probably feel, still feeling some type of way. And that takes years and years to get over, if ever, to get over that. So she's just in a vulnerable state, and she don't feel, she feel that Floyd ain't paying her enough attention. You know, obviously, you should be able to go to your parent and be like, you know, I need, you know, I need more attention. I need you at home instead of so much at the boxing gym and on these planes and going to Miami, L.A. and tricking off with these hoes. You know what I'm saying? I need your attention. I need you more now than ever. And Floyd probably don't understand that. Floyd is in the mindset of some men, I provide, you know, the money, he go a couple dollars, or his, he go a couple few hundred thousand dollars, go shop, shop it off, but money ain't the equalizer, and I think a lot of people going to figure that out, that financially, um, it doesn't cure all problems, I mean, I don't know why people forget more, more money, more problems, you know what I'm saying, I remember that little, you know, uh, interview Biggie said, you know, he said, the more money I get, the more problems keep coming and money ain't gonna heal everything if Floyd think money is the cure to everything he's still poor at heart he's still poor in his soul and when you figure out man you could go to Africa and see kids ain't got nothing and they happy you go to America and you go see guys like Robin Williams who killed himself you know what I'm saying and he died with millions and millions of dollars if that don't show you the difference between you know, you can't buy happiness and, 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 and you can still be poor and happy. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it ain't never been a good feeling when you ain't got no money to your name. Trust me, I know. But in this situation, he need to take time from spending time with them fighters in the gym to spend time with his daughter. Whatever she want to do, whatever she want to talk about. She want to go eat and talk about something. She just want to sit by the water. She just want to sit in the house and talk about something. Right now, she need closure. You know, some people move on from death in all different ways. Some people are able to, you know, get over it. Some people harp on it for years to come. It affect the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? So it depends. And right now she's 16 years old. She at the one of the most important stages of her life. She on the cusp of, of being a teenager to a young woman. You know, and she needs attention. You know? And should she have took it to the internet? Absolutely not. But it sounds like she fed up with Floyd for not giving her attention. Now, is it in my place to call Floyd a bad father? Absolutely not. Them his kids. You know what I'm saying? Them his kids. He should know how to push the buttons the way he need, no, need to know how to push their buttons. Whatever he was doing when he seen that post, he should have stopped and went where she was at. Straight up and down. That's it. That's it. But it, it certain, certain, certain parents can't give you what the other parent do. That's why you got parents. You know, what you can't get from one, you should be able to get from the other. You know, you know what I'm saying? And it's mothers can't give certain things that fathers can give, and fathers can't give certain things that mother can do. And that goes for a daughter, and that goes for a son. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of women since the beginning of the time that's been trying to replace what a man can't give you. Can't give a daughter or a son. Or a child to be exact. In some cases, they do a wonderful job. In other cases, they don't. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to always be in your kid life, day to day. But Floyd is always, he a, he a, he a company man. He's he the businessman. 
And Floyd ain't the only one. You know how many businessmen who, how many men that work in the factory or dudes that work in the cubicle, entrepreneurs who can't give the attention and the time that they need to get to their family? You know, I was talking to somebody about this a few weeks ago. It's like no man that has, that's really financially getting it, have time and keep getting it, don't have the time to, 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 to the vote that the women want or the family needs. That's the compromise. You like, you know, you like the house you living in, you like the roof, you like the floors, you like the clothes, you like the perfume. If I stop doing what I'm doing and I can't provide that financially no more, you're going to hate me regardless. Oh, you bum ass dude and you can't provide this, that, and the third. But hey, I took time away from making money to spend with y'all. And that's what women need to understand. A real provider and the man, you know, he don't have the time to sit there and be at the house day to day. It's a lot of men that take... That, that, that take away from their free time that may be 8, 6, maybe 10 hours if you're lucky a, a, day, a day and they go at home and they build stuff and they fix stuff around the house you know what I'm saying and before you know it they down to 4, 6 hours of sleep probably not even that you know what I'm saying so nobody truly no man truly has the time to be there day in and day out especially if he's he the ultimate breadwinner now if you're in a relationship that's, that's, that's balanced out a little bit you can do that if the wife is working, the woman is working enough, and the man is working this a little bit more. Then you can balance that out. But usually, you know, traditionally the man is supposed to be the breadwinner, and he gonna get money however he get money. And you can say, say a guy that's as wealthy as Floyd. You know what I'm saying? He gonna keep getting the money. If he slow down for a month, that's a lot of money he losing. And that's any dude out here. You see during the pandemic. You got Fortune 500 companies filing bankruptcy off a month, two or three months. So imagine if the average working man or the average businessman, you know, took a month or two off. Then you could plan them when, you know, the mortgage is behind. Then you could plan them because they're coming to get the car. Then you could plan them because, you know, you don't have the finer things in life. And that's something that women, women won't understand. They demand so much out of men and we don't demand as much out of women. That's a fact no, no more. Men do, do not... Demand as much as women. People say, well, if a dude was in a single mother position, he will fold. You know what I'm saying? If you was in our position, you will fold. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You know, all the pressure that's on us. It was so funny about it. Fathers don't get their flowers so they did. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even know some of these girls on social media had a father in their life. As soon as he died, oh, I miss my father and this, that, and this fake love. They don't miss you till you gone. You don't get your flowers till you gone. It's like it's like boxing. The villain fighter don't get his flowers, <laughs> you know, until he gone. The fighter that that was villain not vilified don't get his flowers till he gone. That's how Floyd gonna be. Please go. Oh, Floyd was a great fighter. All the haters when they go back and they do a Floyd Mayweather movie documentary on him. Oh, he's a great fighter. You know, me and Floyd was great. But those same people that was you know hating on him his whole career. But you know, long story short. Um, he need to he need to stop what he's doing and get that girl her attention. You know what I'm saying? Not not be, not because she needed or whatever, but because she's going through a tough, tough, tough time, and that's what fathers do. You know what I'm saying? Take her to the gym. Teach her a little boxing. Take her to the skate. Do do something. You need to spend time with her. Talk talking to her. You know, or maybe obviously a therapist to help too. Right now she depressed. She lost her mother. Well, how you fuck you supposed to feel? At 16. You know what I'm saying? At 16. She called out for help. So Floyd need to address that. Don't address that shit in no Instagram post and then delete it. Address it as, as a father. Don't address it as Money Mayweather, Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather, this egotistic motherfucking person that they created, you know, for the public. Approach it as a father. Hear her out. See what adjustments you can make. See what make her comfortable. Because, look here. This is the same dude... That his friend killed his wife on a live chat with him. And he went right to a Clipper game the same day and didn't feel nothing. It was said that he, he had banged his wife. And that's why he confronted Floyd on a video chat and he killed him and his wife. I'm like, damn. The very the very hours later, this man was at a Clipper game. Eating nachos and hot dogs and not even sweating it. So you can see he, he, he cold hearted. You know what I'm saying? He cold hearted, bro. And that's just the honest truth about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just think life can make you like that. It's not because Floyd chose to be like that, per se. Life can make you cold-hearted. It can. 
Life can make you numb to family. It can make you numb to pain. It can make you numb to criminal activity. It can make you numb to, to emotions of love and anger. Some people been through traumatic experiences where, you know what I'm saying, they, they could never have those feelings again, even with their kids. You know what I'm saying? Some traumatic can happen where your kids will just say, I don't need you, or, or something else can happen you, where you call, you you just numb to it. And it's a lot of father, fathers who's numb. I'm not saying that Floyd is one of them, but it's a lot of fathers who numb to their kids because of their baby mama or the girl or the female they reproduce with. It's true. Look at 50 Cent, his son. And I'm not saying that 50 is 100% responsible for that situation, but the, the baby mama had to be so responsible for that. Because she's in a position where she, they, a lot of times they're in a position and they mad because it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? And when it don't work out, it's a nasty split. It takes a really, really strong and fantastic woman to not hold a grudge against a man and keep her kids away from them or poison her kids' mind about that man. There's been a lot of situations where baby mothers or women that have kids by men, they poison the kid's mind. And the father, in that relationship with the father, it never it never can heal. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of women that use their son as a bargaining chip or their daughter's a bargaining chip to keep it away from from the man. But his other daughter went on to say, uh, somebody has said something. I don't know. Maybe it's a social media star. And she said, we definitely didn't need our dad. Um, but best believe he did it all for us and got money. And he told all, she told old girl, at least I ain't faking pregnancies for attention because old girl... That tweeted at Ayana, I mean, tweeted at Ayana, the other Mayweather daughter. That's what that was with Young Boy. She said basically that, uh, you know, I ain't never need to know daddy. You was fortunate to have a daddy, and I got everything on my own. And that's the, and that is the wrong mindset right there. You know what I'm saying? I see this on social media all the time. Well, I didn't have my parents to to do this for me. And I see this from black people. I didn't have my parents, my daddy to do this, my mom to do this. Y'all, we different. We built different. Y'all have, uh, Y'all had, you know, daddies and mothers do that for y'all. Are we supposed to be, you know, sad because we grew up traditional, close to traditional? We have fathers and mothers that, that bought cars for us and still that took care of us and to help us if we kind of fall off a little bit. And I can always run back here and have that support. Is that my fault? And that's the problem. That's that shit Sauce Walker was talking about. You know what I'm saying? He said black people and black women just had this independence that they don't need nobody. And that's the wrong thing. Everybody need help. Life is hard. This ain't the 1950s no more. But that one girl that she was tweeting at, and some of y'all know her, I put it on the screen. She got the wrong mindset. Oh, I didn't need this. I don't need that. I did everything on my own. I'm self-made. Cool. But at the end of the day, without your mom and daddy, you still wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't let nobody make you feel shame because your parents did for you. Your parents looked out for them. That's what white people do. That's what Arab people do. That's what the Indians do. That's what the Native Americans do for their kid. They put their kid, you know, around a Monopoly board once. You know what I'm saying? So the second time around, everything is success. Good credit scores. You know what I'm saying? You bought a house. You can stay here as long as you get your credit scores up. You go to school and get you a trade to go to, or go to college. Whatever the situation may be. People, black people have a uh, sense that we don't need, we need, that we want to be independent. You know what I'm saying? And I don't let nobody knock me. Well, daddy bought you a car. Your mom bought you a soul. You know, that's how white people do it. They, they, they get married and they buy them houses and shit. Everybody in the black community want to go, I don't need my mama. I don't need my daddy. I'm, I'm, I'm independent. You know, and if you, if you actually had a mother and daddy that set you up for success and left you properties, restaurants, you know, savings bonds and all that type of stuff, if you had that, you know what I'm saying? You can enjoy your 20s instead of enjoying your 30s and 40s. You know, but everybody want to be in the independent. I don't mind giving help, getting help. For my parents and my grandparents, I don't mind it. Because that's how that's how everybody else do it except for black people. You got Arab people that live in the same house, three generations in the same house. Build the credit up. Get the nice cars. They find they get all this credit and get married and all that together. Buy another house. Do the same thing with the next two or three generations, you know. So we the only mind we the only only community or we the only ethnic group over here that had that mindset. But hey, let me know what you guys uh think. Hopefully, you know, she don't go back on social media again and her Floyd can give her what she need. And uh even if he don't know how to give her what she need, he grew up a little bit ignorant. Hopefully he can figure it out with his parental 
parental uh, instincts. But hey, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got business questions, quality response, shit, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app, PayPal, description. The best way to donate is share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time we done.